All right, for problem number seven, it asks us to consider the graph at the right. And uh, so there it is. And first of all, it says, what is the slope of this line? So let's uh, get over here and do our rise over run and let's find the slope. So if we were reading it like a book, we would find this point first. So I'll put my pencil or my pen right there. You'll use a pencil. Uh, so our rise will be to go up one. So our slope will have a rise of one. And then for the run, we go to the right one, two, three. So the run goes on the bottom. This will have a slope of one third. Okay, what is the y-intercept of this line? So the word intercept in math means to touch. So we wanna know where does it touch? The y-axis. So this is the y-axis and it touches it at negative two. So the y-intercept is negative two. Okay, what is the equation of this line in slope intercept form? So slope intercept would be this one here because that's the slope and that's the y-intercept. So for that one, we would say y equals and our slope we just found out was one third. So one third x uh, plus b. So plus our y-intercept and, and in this problem that's negative two. So it'll actually be minus two here at the end. Okay, and now finally, they're asking what is the equation of this line in point slope form using this point. So point slope form is this one because this here gives us the information for the slope. And then this right here is that other point. And so we'll use this one and that point right here, this is our first X value and this is our first Y value. So that'll be our X1 and our Y1. And now we can just go ahead and use this to, um, to finish part D. So Y minus sine Y1, so that's negative one, equals M, so our slope, which is still one third, parentheses x minus, and then finally our x1 value is three. All right, so there we have it. Is there anything that we could clean up and make a little, look a little nicer here? Uh, and there is, we could make this look a little nicer. So let's take a moment to do that. Uh, so two minuses right next to each other can turn into a plus. So for our final answer, we will write um, y plus one, equals one third x minus three. And that'll just be a little nicer way of writing it. And we have finished problem number seven. Well done.